Day one, second trip out here, southwestern desert. It's 557. About to hike my way in. Saw a little fawn as I was coming up this little road right here. Jump across the road. Deer are moving for sure.
you do know. I went ahead and came back to this other side. I jumped the doe on the other side, walking out of there. And then I jumped something else. I don't know if it was a doe or not. It didn't it didn't make a noise, it was probably a bug. sitting up for a while now. I had one doe come in. She stopped right there. She was really small. Like, she was borderline fawn. But she came up and then made her way down past me and then went back up the ridge and left. So, it looks like they're starting to move. something comes down here my my camera on my back the memory is almost out so I have it turned off right now and then my headset I'm just I'm gonna try to turn it on as soon as something starts to happen obviously that didn't happen when the doe came in but I'm gonna do what I can seen anything I was going to set up my trail cam here for the night but I don't get any signal on it so I'm going to start walking out maybe maybe we'll come up on something on the way out I have to walk back through this little bedding area and then up towards the truck Every time, almost, I've gone through there, I've jumped something out of there, so. Maybe this time, we won't spook it. Maybe this time we can shoot it. I don't know how much of that I got on video because both my SD cards were pretty low in memory. But just now, I literally crossed over the fence right here and there's a doe just standing there, staring at me. I literally stood there, knocked an arrow, and pulled out my rangefinder. She just kept looking at me. She's lucky I ranged her at 57 yards. Otherwise, she would have got stuck. <sighs> Fuck, man. But as I was walking out, as I was walking out, I literally stood up on a rock, was glassing this little area because there's always some deer in here. And 
<coughs> as soon as I stepped off the rock, I jumped two dough. Like, as soon as I stepped off the rock, <coughs> jumped two dough. Saw where they went, so I kind of backed out a little bit, and I followed down the trail down the other side. I haven't ever gone down that far before on that side. But as I'm walking, I jump two more doe on the opposite side of the trail, jump one more later, further on down the trail, and then I'm pretty sure it was the same ones that I originally jumped the first time because they were the only ones that were on the that side of the trail still jump them again and I was like you know what I'm just gonna turn around it's too thick over there like there's there's nothing you can do so I backed out came back this way I was coming back towards the truck and jumped three more so there's two does and a fawn and then as I was continuing up the trail I jumped one more doe I, it could have been out of that same little pack but I only saw one and then that last doe that was right here as soon as I stepped over the fucking fence. I mean, she was facing the fence, so if I would have shot her, she would have jumped over the fucking fence, and it was fair fucking game. I don't care at this point. That was rough. technically had two shot opportunities the first one I literally just missed but I, I she was small man she was she was small like there was a second where I could have picked the bow up but I just couldn't man she was she was really small she was borderline fawn and I jumped two other ones throughout the day. Fuck. Got one more day out here. Hopefully it's better. Alright. Day two. What are the chances of them changing their pattern today? Hopefully. I just don't have an idea of kind of where they were hiding out at and what times they were hiding out at. I mean, because they're definitely using that area still because I found a new sign down there that wasn't there last time I was there. And that was three weeks ago, I think. So, so hopefully... They're going to be a little more active today. I don't know what it was yesterday, though. That was, I mean, it was super cloudy until about 11 o'clock. So I don't know if maybe that affected the thermals and they weren't using that bottom of that creek very much or what. But I don't know how long I'm going to stay out today. i got to drive home today, so... May only hunt till three o'clock or so. Hopefully, it doesn't last that long. Hopefully, I get some first thing in the morning and can track it, clean it, go home.
have a little call out. And she kind of moved, but I couldn't see which way she went. And then I got, I'm thinking she caught my wind. Because my wind was pretty much blowing directly that way. And she jetted out. more than what we saw yesterday morning, so that's a good start, I think. I don't know if the time change fucked them up yesterday, or they knew the time was going to change, or what, but I don't know. Both of my GoPros are, memory cards are full, and I forgot my USB drive and my SD card reader at the fucking house like an idiot so I'm gonna do what I can to get as much video as I can on my phone but maybe not recording I'll have more of a chance shooting something because that's about how shit goes you know
tired I tried to make my way up around one of those ridges because it, it, the majority of it was grass but down to where I really needed to be up there where it got real thick in the bottom I could see down into the bottom it it turned into nothing but rock and I, I couldn't I couldn't be fucking quiet like there was no one and you get it on a steep slope with them Loose ass rocks, man, there's no being quiet. That shit. But no luck this time. We'll be back next month, hopefully. Come back out here. It'll be colder then. It should be actually cold. Hopefully. But we'll see what happens. See what happens. Probably hunt one more time for deer out here in December and then come January and February I'll, I'm going to hunt um, Audad, Audad and Mufflin out here. It's another little area where there's Audad and Mufflin. So see what happens over there. I'm excited for that. But yeah, all right, six hour drive home now. It's early enough, I'll get home. Be able to chill for a while. Right. Catch you next time.